Well, let's get to some questions because Jason Nakarado just sent some Tony Khan audio. So we got oh, maybe God. play a little of this, but let's get to some questions first. Jason Geller, member of the Cult of Cornette Facebook group, wants to know, how did Jim lose weight and maintain a healthy weight? Uh, which time? I guess now. Now and which, in 1988. Well, you remember there have been a number of, of times that I've lost a great amount of weight and then slowly it's crept back on. In 1988, honestly, I'd gotten up to 250 pounds because that was after my second knee kerfluffle and scope surgery, and I was not as active around ringside that year from the surgery in November of 86 and then July of 87, and I got up 250 pounds, and I was trying to lose a little bit of weight, and then the Fantastics came in in March, I believe it was, and that helped me out a lot because between Bobby Fulton chasing my ass around and me bumping for them all over the place, it you know, that amount of exercise along with watching what I was eating, that's the first time I went on an actual diet in my life. I got uh, I've I've lost about 25 or 30 pounds, and then Dusty gave me the heads up that in the Great American Bashes that July that we were going to be doing bunkhouse matches, three on two, and I was going to be wrestling. And those things went 15, 20 minutes every night, even though I wasn't doing drop kicks and high spots, right? I was running a lot. So I got down to like 194 pounds. And at the start of the Great American Bash, at the end of June, I was 194 pounds. I can't remember the exact numbers, but that was the, during the period of time where in like 45 days we worked 47 matches and I was in 30-something bunkhouse matches and we only had two days off and it was from one end of the country to the other, from Seattle to goddamn Florida. And at the end of that, I had gained back 12 pounds. And, and I never, until the last five years, got below 200 again, really, in my life. I couldn't stay that low, but now it it was more instead of going on a diet trying to lose the weight purposely. It, 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 I haven't done a a personal appearance or a public appearance since December of 2019. I don't travel anymore. I don't drive by Wendy's on the way on a 500 mile trip. I don't binge eat after shows where I haven't eaten in 24 hours. I don't fucking sit in a hotel room and order pizzas or take McDonald's double quarter pounders out of the refrigerator because it's two o'clock in the morning and that's all I can get. I eat at home, regular amounts of food and no stress and no aggravation eating mostly. So that's how I've been able to keep it off at this, you know, juncture of my life because for the first time in my life, I'm sleeping regularly, same hours per night, every night. I haven't had a cold. I haven't goddamn, you know, uh, my weight has not fluctuated more than five or six pounds because I'm acting like a normal person now instead of being on the road all the time. 